Hey y'all, welcome back to Katie Resin. I got a new mold. It's a trinket tray. And I saw a video where someone did a trinket tray and they used soapy water to put bubbles on top of UV resin and then cured it and then uh, put uh, mica powder over top of it. And I'm going to try that today. Most of the time when I try things, it does not turn out well. So I thought I'd give it a shot and we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to get my uh, UV resin set up and I'm going to get some gloves on. And uh, I'm going to pour a ring around the tray. I think I'm going to use like a black glitter ar around that. So uh, I'll get all that mixed up and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I got my black uh, glitter. It's not much. I got it from Timu. So there's not much glitter in that. So if that doesn't have, I got some little gold and silver. Uh, I think it's called sea glass. And I will put that in there because I don't think this is going to be enough. It may be. I don't, I think that'll be fine. Okay, so I'm just going to pour this around the edge there. Yeah, I think this will be fine. I'm going to give that a little bit of time to settle and level out a little bit before I cure it. <clears throat> Y'all, I apologize for all of the clearing of the throat and everything all the time, but I have severe asthma and allergies. And it, this Kentucky weather doesn't happen or doesn't help at all. Okay, it looks like I got a little bit of glitter in there, but I'm gonna get so I'm gonna let that dry from the diaper wipe, and then after I get it cured, um, I'll get that up with some packing tape because I'd rather not really not see any glitter. Okay, I'm at a loss for when I use UV resin, can I spray it with alcohol or no? If anybody would care to put in the comments, yes, you can spray, no, don't spray, or something, I would appreciate that. And I'm just kind of going around the edges there just to make sure that uh, I don't have no bubbles in that crack, in the side there. And I might as well go around that one too. Mm 
I don't think there's any bubbles that I've seen. Unless I'm creating them. Probably better go slower, hadn't I? Now I want to get these little beads off because if not, I've had it, um, when I try to peel something like that off, I've had the whole thing come off. Like when I do my little frogs and stuff, the whole thing will peel up. And that's just my luck, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm going to give it a cure, and I'll be back in, as soon as it cures up. All right, y'all, I got this all uh, cured. I'm going to try to get that off a little bit better on them sides. Um, I mixed up some pigment paste and some clear UV resin so I just so that I can get this uh, side up even with the middle part of this tray because I want the UV resin to go all the way across it so I'm just going to put this in there just to kind of even up the tray or the, the ring with the center of the tray I don't know if I'm explaining that right y'all All right. For some reason, I have lost my little round silicone tool. There we go. This is a different one, but it'll be okay. I just want to make sure that there's no uh, bubbles there. And I saw this trick on a video. I sure do appreciate all your all's tips that you're giving me. Okay, I think I'm going to stop at that. I'm going to see if I can't get these little bubbles there. Ooh, it just smeared it, didn't it? wonder if... Perfect! I got these little Q-tips at um, the Family Dollar, the red one, not the yellow one. We call them the red, the red dollar store and the yellow dollar store around here, just so we know where you're talking about. So y'all got a little bit of. Kentucky knowledge today. I bet you weren't expecting that, huh? I 
I don't think it's really going to matter on that side because after I finish my layer of, um, I see some bubbles in there. After I, um, put the layer of clear resin with the bubbles on it, I'm going to back it in black again. So we'll go with that. All right, I'm going to get this cured up and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Um, this is cured. And I did it again on both sides. So, what? No, I didn't. I'll be right back. I forgot to cure it on the bottom side. I'm so sorry. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Sorry about that mistake I made. Okay, now I'm going to pour in the clear resin. I'm not really sure if, like, after your first layer that you really have to cure both sides or not. I'm not sure on that, but I did it. I, I still have a lot of questions myself about certain things, so if I, I'm not sure, like, on something like that that I can help, then I'm just going to go ahead and do it. All right, for this, I'm going to pour, pour straight out of the jug. And I'm just going to put, I don't want a very thick coat. So I'm going to wait and, let, oh no, I y'all, I left the glitter in there. I sure did. Oh my goodness. I even said, I'm going to get the packing tape and get that up. Anything I can do to make it harder on me, that's exactly what I do, ain't it, y'all? Y'all notice that too, or is it just me? I think with just a few pieces, I don't think it'll hurt anything, so I'm just going with it. I don't, exp I don't have high hopes for this anyway, so... So we'll see, huh? Maybe I'll get lucky and the resin gods will be kind to me. Okay. All right, y'all. Y'all can see that black gl glitter in there, can't you? All right. Now, I got a uh, dish soap. To make my bubbles in water. So, I got, I got a straw. And I'm going to blow them in there. Y'all, this is fun. <laughs> oh, my word. All right. Now, I'm going to pull the top off of my... Uh, 
UV light. I got it. Where? How do I? Okay. Sorry. And I'm just going to turn it on. All right, y'all. It worked. Oh, my goodness. It worked. I'm going to see. Can you see the little things in there? So cute. I can't believe I actually did something that worked, y'all. All right, so I'm going to clean my brush off real good. You all, this thing, I'm going to move this out of the way. This really works. Getting the, see that? All that powder in there? That really does work. The brush cleaner. So I'm going to dump this out real quick. I don't want it to get too full. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to put the mica powder. I'm going to use the Intense Chameleon Powder from Let's Resin. And I have decided to go with the gold. And I'm just going to put that on there. Look at that, you guys. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it really worked. But I'm not done yet, so I don't need to be patting, breaking my arm, patting myself on the back just yet. Because it ain't done, right, y'all? Still things can happen. <laughs> my gosh. You all, this is the most fun I've had. To, well, no, because I, I can't say that because I always have fun. I think I'm just happy because it worked. It really worked. I actually watched a video and could do what they did. And I wish I could remember who I watched do this. Because I would say it, who I watched, but I don't remember who it was. I watched so many. <laughs> My word. I don't know if I like the bigger ones or if I like the little cluster. I think I like the little cluster better. All right, y'all. Now, I believe that they finished this out in, like, regular resin. I don't believe they did the whole thing in um, UV. And I hope I'm right. <laughs> oh, my word. Clean my brush off. Isn't that gold pretty on that, y'all? I bet it's going to really look good with the white. Here's my big makeup brush. Smoothing that in. Oh, and before I forget, um... I had a tip from my Australian friend, Nat, Matters of the Heart. Here's my soapy water. She told me that if I would put that in the molds instead of alcohol, that it gives more longevity to my molds. And it would be a whole lot easier to, to get them out. So, 
everybody listen to Nat and get you a bottle of the soapy water. All right, I'm going to mix up some reds in here real quick. And I'm going to use the black pigment paste. And I'm going to get that all cured up. So I'll be right back when I get my resin mixed. All right, y'all. I'm going to use the, I think it's pronounced Mateo. Um, pigment paste. I don't want to use this down in my pigment paste. <clears throat> to get my black and my resin. I know I mixed up too much, but it's all right. I'm going to try to keep these containers clean, y'all, so I don't have it all over me all the time. Oh, and I used my Let's Resin resin. But I did use a different kind of UV resin. So let's hope that it adheres to it. I don't see why it won't, but um, let me see. All right, y'all. I'm sorry. I was looking for my alcohol bottle. Um, speaking of alcohol bottles... Uh, Hemp and Home Creations, a subscriber, um, watched my last video and I was complaining about my alcohol bottle and she bought me a cup of coffee and sent me the link to an what looks to be like an awesome um, alcohol bottle. So, it is ordered... It was from Amazon, and it has been ordered, and I will receive it tomorrow. So, I'll share with you all the uh, alcohol bottle tomorrow, and go over and check out her channel. She's got some very interesting things on there. She makes soaps, and she does resin. So, y'all go over and check her out. And thanks for the coffee. I'll be back when this gets cured and we'll uh, unmode, demode, however you want to say it. We'll check it out. Oops, sorry, I forgot something. My leftover resin. The last color that we used in our dump pot was black. So I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of this black in there too. Because remember I said that it was going to make a little bitty line. Maybe it'll pop it up a little bit, huh? Yeah, this is going to be awful. And I already know it. I wish I would have thought to done uh, one of the, uh, the and before I started this. And it's because this is going to take so long to get filled up. I wish I would have done uh, done it in it like magic pour or something before I started filling it up as the dump pot. But I'll do that after we get this dump pot filled. So I don't have high to hopes for this. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll see y'all at demoding. All right, y'all. We're ready to demode. Um, as you can see, I have some bubbles on there, but let's see how it turns out. At least this comes out pretty easily, huh?
All right, what do y'all think? Good, bad, ugly. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, look at that, y'all. Oh my God. Oh man, look at the, I got some bad spots there. Dang, gone. How in the world did my gold slip up to that? How would that happen? Oh, do you know what? I don't care. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. This is probably the prettiest thing that I've done. I'm gonna, I think this can easily be fixed by just doing another layer. Oh, I used all my black glitter. I'm gonna redo that, that ring even if I have to wait and buy some more glitter, and I think I will. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I'm so excited that this turned out. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. I like the little clusters better than the bigger ones. So I guess smaller bubbles, tiny bubbles. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next video.